place studying. is bugging me, man. It's wigging me already. Let's cut out of this hole. New hey, man, art. Cut this jazz. The cat with the books is bugged out. Let's rock. This week we're going to take a look at how I did my Champions Collection portrait of Masahiro Chono, uh, which a lot of people are telling me is maybe my best piece I've done so far. I'll leave that up to you. I started off by putting the paint directly on the surface and mixing it together right there on the surface with uh, both brush and my fingers, then coming in with several different layers of paint marker, acrylic paint marker on top of that uh, to create the distinctive background. Now coming in doing the figure, uh, again working from whatever is the most covered up to the most in the foreground. Uh, so did his chest, then the jacket on top of that. Uh, now coming in with the blacks on the figure. Uh, as well as some details on the jacket. Uh, you know, again, working dark to light as well. So bringing in details on the jacket, like uh, the sequins and, and such details. Now coming in with the uh, darker colors on the can and on the face as well. Uh, working from a darker reddish brown uh, to then some oranges and uh, some lighter colors from there. Um, because of the way that light hits a figure, uh, it's also the way that the light reflects off that and hits the eye. So that's why you want to work from darkest to light. It creates more of a sculpted three-dimensional feel. And that's with acrylic where you're able to paint on top of what you've already painted. Uh, so now I'm bringing in uh, the whites to really make it pop and uh, finishing that up on the, the hand that's in the most foreground as well. And now coming in with a little more paint marker to have what was in the background on the front. And there's the finished piece. Not bad. Cool. 